guys, today I'm going to be demonstrating something really cool, electrolysis rust removal. Let's get started. So now we're going to go through the equipment. We have a direct current battery charger, a copper wire, the thicker it is, the more current goes through, a carbon anode, today we have iron rebar, sodium carbonate in the form of washing soda, and this is going to create an electrolyte. Na2CO3, a non-conductive container. Today we have a plastic bucket, dill, slice. And then we have our optional items. We have these ties to tie down the rebar, these clips to get the copper wire in place, and this drill to better ease the drilling of the bucket. And this is what we're gonna remove the rust out of today. The coolest thing of all, a black cock corn husker from 1903 from right here in Clarksville. Pretty cool, right? So as far as safety goes for this project, this project is pretty safe. The least safe thing we got here is this drill here, which is going to be pretty easy just as long as we wear eye protection, we should be fine. And the battery with the water is a little unsafe, but as long as we keep the water off the battery, it should be good. So first things first, we're going to want to drill the holes in the bucket. We've already started most of the holes, but just to quicken up the time, so I'm just going to drill in this last hole just for you. And we have eye protection. Perfect. So the reason that we actually drilled these holes was to connect the rebar to the bucket. And then what we're going to do is put in this uh, corn husker here. And we're going to make sure that the corn husker is not touching any of these poles so the current can go through. So now we have all these anodes connected with the zip ties. And the more that there are, the faster the process is going to go. So we put about 10 of these in here. And next we're going to add in that corn husker there. So now we have the corn husker in here. And what we're trying to look out for is to make sure that none of these anodes are actually touching the object or it's going to not these anodes aren't going to work so now the next step is connecting a current using this copper wire here and then we're going to clip it on using these clips so we've connected all these clips dover style and we've created a complete circuit and we're going to connect this end of the current to the battery over there so now we're going to pour some water into this solution And then about a cup of this to make our electrolyte, Na2CO3. So now we're going to connect the battery charger to the current. We're going to connect the positive side to this end. And the negative side to this copper wire we've connected to the corn husker. And now we've plugged the battery charger in. And you can actually see the bubbles are making a circle going around the anodes just like it's supposed to. Hey guys, so it's been about 36 hours. Uh, it'll, it's only supposed to take about 12. I've unplugged the battery and I'm about to take it out for the first time. Let's see. So, here it is. Like a time machine back in time. Thanks for watching. Yeah.